Under the cover of darkness, USS Narwhal slips into Holy Lock once again after another very successful patrol. The war is nearly one month old at this point, and USS Narwhal has sunk a total of 215,000 tons of shipping. In addition to this, the crew is extremely proficient and battle-hardened. Enemy replenishment ships are sailing from Murmansk, and upon departing Holy Lock, it will be our task to take them out. Our destination is the Western Barents Sea. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our 1984 NATO campaign in Cold Waters. Our mission objective was to intercept a group of replenishment tankers in the Barents Sea, and we have just done that. We have made contact, as we can hear, our sonar operator is going crazy. We have five sound contacts up ahead, and we have been actively pinged as well, so there are warships in the mix. Let's begin identifying. Shall we? Let's start with Sierra 4, who seems to be relatively close. We are looking for merchant ships, and here we go. There's Con one of them. Sierra 4 is classified as merchant. There's another. Con sonar Sierra 5 is classified as Oh, where's merchant. that warship? I did not catch. Oh, okay, there she is. Con sonar Sierra 2 is classified as escort. Perfect. This, yeah, here we go. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as another emergent. merchant ship. Wow. Okay. Con sonar Sierra one. Only two. Is classified as merchant. Uh, only one warship. I'm very surprised by that. Let's come up to periscope depth Four, five, eight, nine, and nine. deploy the tow array. We are already rigged for ultra quiet. That's the first thing we did when we got into combat. Right now we have three Mark 48s loaded and one Moss. We were able to completely rearm and holy lock. We have six Harpoons, two Mosses, and 18 Mark 48s. So we are really ready to rock and roll here. Con sonar, Krivak is classified as misidentified. Escort. Okay. Yeah, these guys are mildly concerning. We will take them out first, of course. And see the RBUs there, which are always fun to deal with. All right, what are the conditions here? There's a very strong layer at 336 feet. We're going to launch below that. Let's raise the raise ESM the mass ESMS. real quick. We are pretty far away from the contacts as well. Okay, we are within the detection Lower threshold, so let's lower that. Okay. I was hoping to get a look at these guys through the periscope, but it's unnecessary. Drop down to 500 feet. Once we are below the layer, we will fire. And let's also change our course. New heading 235 to kind of angle us away from our, our friends. Kind of mask our launches. Okay, the boat is now below the layer. We are ready to launch. We are going to launch tubes number one and two. They will both fire passively. We'll have them go up towards the surface. There we go. All right, let's get ready. Tube one, we are going to fire them straight ahead and dog leg them towards the targets here. All right, ready, tube one. Shoot. Okay, tube one's away. Tube two, shoot. There we go, tube two is away. We're going to have both torpedoes run to this point. Yes, please make sure I have both of them selected. There we go. We're down at 500 feet, looking good. We are actually going to turn on a new heading of two, uh, let's just go three zero zero. Come right to three zero zero. Make Help ourselves I. a smaller target for their active sonar. Now, it's going to be kind of tricky getting to this cache in, but the Krivak is dead meat. 
she's the more threatening of the two anyway. Yeah, this is all looking rather good. Let's see, I am curious. They cannot hear us on active yet. There are launches from the enemy warships. I think the Krivak is what, yeah, the Krivak just fired. Okay, let's, I guess they picked up our torpedoes. Let's turn them towards the targets. They've, they've figured us out, apparently. I'm kind of surprised by that. I guess I heard the torpedoes. I am going to lay low. I don't want to... Yeah, there's a torpedo in the water right here. I'm going to lay low. I don't want to... I don't want to freak out just yet. I don't think they really have a good idea of where, they, where we are. And judging by where their torpedoes landed, further to the northwest, I think we are in the clear. Let's just angle our torpedoes towards them now. They got a whiff of us and started dropping torpedoes in the water. Thankfully, we are still pretty far away. Well, it looks like the Krivak has figured out what is coming her way. She has done a 180, as you can see, and she is now turning around. We also have another torpedo in the water over here, running nice and deep. Um, but it doesn't look like it's really going to be much of a threat. Uh, I think we're going to be a-okay here. They're just going to keep our torpedoes running towards the target. Sierra 2 kind of moved away. She's up Sierra here. This two, is inaccurate now. Three, we lost two, contact one. on her. So our torpedo is going to be running for a while to try to get to her. Uh, once the two warships are taken out, we are going to load harpoons and take care of the freighters. Things are still progressing rather well, but we do have a minor problem here. Another torpedo is heading our way, and this one looks like it may be a tad more threatening. So we are going to adjust our course, new heading 280, and we are going to increase speed to 10 knots. Just to try to get out of the path of this torpedo, I think we will be successful in that endeavor. They really don't know one, where we zero, are, and nine. we are also in Sierra 1 and Sierra 2's wake at this point, so I think we're going to be a-okay. Our torpedoes are still heading towards their respective targets. Okay, folks, so the situation here is rather interesting. I am kind of worried that this torpedo is not going to be able to make it to its target. It has two minutes left until it is out of fuel. And unfortunately, Sierra 2 is really booking it. So I think, I don't know, this torpedo's possibility of running out of fuel uh, before it gets to the target is rather high. I was thinking of directing it back towards one of these freighters, but I don't think that's going to happen. We will, I guess we'll just have to see. This torpedo also Got has a minute, control. Weapon acquired. it's acquired, it has a minute and 30 seconds until it can hit. Um, these guys really put some distance between us and them, uh, which definitely makes things harder. However, they are leaving their freighters kind of in the dust. And also this guy, I don't, I don't know what his plan is, but uh, <laughs> once we lose the wires, uh, a Mark 48 is coming his way. That is absolutely for sure. I think uh, there's a okay chance of us hitting this Krivac. I'm not too confident in it though. So, yeah, I mean, 58 seconds, wow. They really got away from us, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, it's not really gonna be as close as I wanted. Well, that's fine. Yeah, she's still pretty far away. These torpedoes are gonna run out of fuel. What a shame, what a shame. Yeah, there, there they go. But you know what? That's not our main target, now is it? Let's go ahead and fire 
tube number three towards CR3. It's going to go up towards the surface. Hopefully it acquires right off the bat. Let's load harpoons. These merchant ships will be ours. And uh, maybe we can take out some of the warships. Yeah, it looks like the warships are starting to turn around. So we need to load those harpoons ASAP. You know what? Load a harpoon and tube number four as well. We will fire three harpoons. Con, fire control. There Weapon we go. Acquired. Weapon already acquired. CR3 is going to be... Uh, excuse me, torpedo? What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? The way it looped back towards me was m mildly concerning. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, three, four. Zero. Contact faded. Okay, hopefully it swings back around and reacquires here. There we go. Okay, it reacquired. We're okay. <laughs> we're okay. Let's reduce speed down to five knots. And we're also going to have to come up to 100. Uh, let's go up to 100 feet. Now, obviously, launching harpoons is going to give away our position, but if our torpedoes aren't able to reach them, then theirs certainly will not either. At least the ASW torpedoes they will be using. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra All right, torpedoes one, running bearing, nicely. Three, one, six, contact faded. Towards this Ugra. Yeah, there we go. That'll be one down. I believe we just need to sink the merchant ships to accomplish the mission. So uh, I would like to take out the warships though, but I don't want to waste too much uh, ordnance on these guys, honestly. We want to do what we need to do to accomplish the mission objective and then uh, skedaddle. Okay, and this is it. Impact. Okay, we are up at missile launch depth, and I went ahead and loaded all four tubes with harpoons. We are going to adjust this accordingly. Narrow, narrow. And we are also going to have them skim the surface. Con, dive at five, zero feet, dive by. There we go, up to 50 feet. We will have two of them go for the Krivak, and then the other two go for the merchant ships here. All right, so tube one. We'll go for Sierra 4, launch. Tube 2, Sierra 5, launch. Tube 3, Krivak. Tube 4, Krivak. Go get them. Begin reloads, more harpoons. Okay, we're out of harpoons. Two harpoons, Mark 48, begin dropping down. Let's see, are they gonna be able to counter launch? I not too sure. Here we go. Here's our harpoons. There's the burning wreck of uh, Sierra 3. There we go. Dropping down towards the deck. Looking good. Okay. And, yep, yeah, there's, there's missile launches. I was kind of hoping, come on, torpedo room, reload, reload. We're dropping down, but yeah, here we go. This is all very fun. They're going to try to intercept our harpoons now. Good luck. Come on, brave little harpoon, you can do it. Yeah, they're launching all sorts of stuff our way. If we can take out the merchant ships, I will be satisfied. This one's definitely going for a freighter. There we go. They're trying. So much. So many missiles in the air now. Okay, another one's ready. Uh, launch it towards Sierra 2. Go, more explosions on the water. Okay, what are these harpoons doing? Oh, here we go. Got one. There we go. Sierra 4 is done. Good work. This one's going for something. Figure it out, please. 
Find a target. Mr. Harpoon. Okay, it's going for the wreck. Okay, it looks like we only have one other harpoon in the air. Oh shit, okay. They, f they found us out. I'll head flank. Launch one more. There we go. Alright. There it goes. Sierra two. Last bearing three. Con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Okay, another torpedo, torpedo in the water. In the water. Three, one, Not too surprising. Drop a noisemaker, begin reloading. I'm not too worried about these torpedoes. Let's drop down below the layer. Down to nine hundred feet. There we go, one torpedo is already breaking off. Beautiful. We should be able to shirk these torpedoes relatively easily. Ah, oh, man, all those harpoons and only one. I'm, I guess the, I guess two of them ended up hitting the wreck, which is mildly unfortunate. I think this is a mission accomplished, though. Two replenishment ships taken out. Okay, level out here. Noisemaker. Passing 1,000 feet. Yeah, down to a thousand. Left full rudder, all right, come up, 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 up. Torpedo room, tube three ready. And left full rudder. We actually want to turn away from this torpedo here as we Passing continue to reload. Imagine reloading these torpedoes while this boat's doing all this, <laughs> all these maneuvers Passing here. Feet. Oh boy. Okay, the torpedo's on us. It's knuckle. Uh, knuckle formed. Passing continue our feet. left turn. Passing 600 feet. Noisemaker, please. Passing 500 feet. Oh boy. That's on us. There we go. We are cavitating. Something just exploded. Wow, okay. Okay, CR5 was just hit. Passing 200 feet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2. Passing 1. Sierra 2. Okay, we lost contact on Sierra 2 for unrelated reasons. Okay. Let's turn south. Start running away. I didn't realize um didn't realize we hit Sierra 5. Hey, Sierra 4 is down at the bottom of the ocean. Interesting. Okay, cool. Our harpoon strike yielded some results. I guess that last harpoon we fired managed to uh, get something. Okay, let's start dropping down again. And you know what? Let's drop down. Let's drop down pretty quickly. Yeah, perfect. And this torpedo found us again. How fun. How fun. Passing 600 feet. It's just uh passing 700 feet start working on coming back up try passing to pull this guy feet. this little torpedo is quite determined there's no way it has too much fuel left Con, knuckle formed all right knuckle I can't see the enemy torpedo. There she is. Okay, it's already oh, off. Feet. Come Turn south two, again. One, seven, three. Helm I. Passing six hundred feet. Con, knuckle, knuckle again. Point. Passing five hundred feet. Okay, and we will come back Passing. down. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Noise maker. There we go. Beautiful. Rudder amidships, run away. Feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing right full rudder. Feet. We want to avoid this torpedo as well. We have to remember that thing is kind of Passing operating here. Feet. Passing 700 feet. And it's on us again. Wow. This thing has pretty good sensors, huh? Passing 900 feet. Okay, knuckle. Passing 1,000 feet. Try not to get too, too deep here. I don't even know what the floor is at. Floor is at 2,000 feet. Okay, knuckle again. Positive. Start moving away. Passing 1,000 feet. There we go. 
passing 900 feet. Okay, it's going underneath. Level out. And run. Passing 600 feet. Good. And no more sign from our warship friends. Everything seems to be pretty quiet at this point. Once this torpedo runs out of fuel, we should be able to leave the combat area. That's three ships taken out. That was quite interesting. I wish I could see uh, Sierra 5 here, but... Okay, it looks like we fooled this torpedo. It is now in a circle. We are going to continue running like hell at a speed of 25 knots until this guy runs out of fuel. And there we have it. The torpedo just ran out of fuel. Beautiful. It was, it did start homing in on us. So it's a good thing it ran out. Let's reduce speed, change course, and we will deploy the towed array. I don't think we're going to be in range to fire at anything. As you can see, we are clear to leave the combat area. Let's come up above the duct. See if we can hear them up here. There's Sierra 5. Sitting down at the bottom. Interesting. I guess a harpoon got her? Oh, oh yeah, there's the explosion. The impact point. Could have been hit by a torpedo, I guess. Friendly fire incident, maybe? Because that looks below the waterline. I'm not complaining. All right. Looks like the... Let's adjust this. There we go. Coming up above the layer now. There's a little bit of time compression. There we go. Steady course. There's a Krivac. Deploy the towed array. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2. Bearing if these guys three, are closing four, in on us, two. maybe we can engage. If they're running away, I don't see much of a point. Let's come up to PD. Make depth four, five, eight, dive, bye. Yeah, see, how far Con, away is this Krivac? 30,000 yards. But she is closing. She is a potential target. I kind of want to engage her. I think it'd be a, a nice thing to sink. However, we have wasted already quite a bit. How much do we have? So we are out of harpoons at this point. We used all of them. And a lot of people were questioning why I used harpoons last time. And well, the, the answer is they're just kind of fun to use. <laughs> so um, I do want to use them if I you know, have the opportunity because they are kind of cool to see, but, um, hmm, we would have to use another Mark 48. She is, she is closing in on our position. Yeah, I think we will linger back here and try to engage this Krivak. I'll probably launch once she gets a few thousand yards closer. I think we have reached a good firing position here. The target is now around 16,000 yards away. We have prepped a tube number three for launch. We are going to shoot it towards the Krivak. All right. We are below the layer. Thankfully, it's a very strong layer. Shooting tube three. Yep, tube three is away. And there we go, there's active. I'm sure we will see a counter launch from our surface ship friend. We'll see though. She is still kind of far away. All right, let's just have our torpedo head straight towards the target. I really don't want to mess around this time. I want to make sure it actually has the juice to, uh, to hit. Okay, this is it. Our torpedo has acquired the target. She, of course, turned tail and started running away, and now she's beginning more evasive maneuvers. 
Our torpedo has four minutes and 30 seconds left. And I think we are going to actually get her this time, thankfully. We still have the wire. There was no counter launch at all. So we are quite lucky and we are quite far away from Shots the scene of the crime. Okay, there's countermeasures. We are not, come on. We still have the wire. We still have a 95% solution on the contact. We know where she is. Let's avoid those countermeasures. Make sure our torpedo is still heading towards CR-1. There we go, weapon has reacquired. Beautiful, looking good. Three minutes, 58 seconds. I think we are golden. This is revenge for that torpedo, the Krivak launch that we had to evade. This has been quite a uh, quite a long mission. We're actually clear to leave the combat area. All this stuff is happening so far away. Okay, another countermeasure. Let's make sure our torpedo is guiding back towards our Krivak friend. Three minutes, 26 seconds. Things aren't nearly as down to the wire as they were earlier. Cool. I think we're golden. Just checking our stores real quick. We still have all of our mosses. I only loaded two. And we have 14 Mark 48, so we should be able to accomplish any uh, future missions that Com Subliant has for us. This torpedo is starting to look really good. Sonar, noise uh, noisemaker, of course. Two, nine, one. There's our Con, Mark 48. Acquired. acquired. Get her. Looking good. Yeah, that's uh, that's one crib back done. Impact. Sierra one. Last bearing two nine zero. Contact breaking up. And with that, we are cleared to leave combat. Nothing nearby, let's go ahead and go. And it looks like the cash-in was damaged. Interesting, so it was hit by a harpoon. And uh, we had no idea. Okay, very cool. 40,000 tons sent down to the bottom. Of course, we have 14 Mark 48s left. Let's continue on. Superb effort in locating and eliminating the enemy's ability to replenish their submarine force at sea. Keep up the good work and stand by for new orders. Let's continue on, and it looks like we have the Legion of Merit Medal to Commander George Milton, Commanding Officer of USS Narwhal, SSN-671. Heck yeah. Safety at sea. Several NATO naval groups have recently been operating unopposed. A Pentagon spokesperson revealed that the enemy's ability to efficiently operate around the North Atlantic has been drastically diminished for reasons that remain classified. Intelligence reports that an enemy surface task force is preparing to sail from Murmansk for a patrol in the vicinity of the Norwegian Sea. The warships are armed with long-range cruise missiles and could wreak havoc on vital NATO supply convoys. You are ordered to intercept and destroy this task force. No other friendly units are in a position to intercept the enemy in time. We are patrolling in blue 047 and locate and sink enemy capital ships. Oh boy, this is going to be very, very interesting. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.